Talk more weather. The first place these storms fired up overnight in Alabama was in Limestone County. The emergency management office there told us there were 13 homes with severe damage, that being in the Brigadoon community. That's where they say it is hardest hit in Limestone County. WFO 48's Aria Pons live now in the Brigadoon community where they really were hit by a low end EF3. The National Weather Service preliminary report has been out. Aria, you have been there all day really surveying the damage too. Liz, like you explained it, it's just that unlucky number 13. There were 13 residences that were hit very hard. Most of these houses around me have holes in it, several holes, almost all the houses do, and there are just rooms ripped from the houses. I'm looking at doors that lead to absolutely nowhere, and there's a lot of houses like that here, 13 of them actually, and the Red Cross relief team has been here for several hours handing out food, water, tarps, and comfort kits. Out in Limestone County, it was neighbor helping neighbor, friends stopping in on other friends, family members racing to see if their loved ones were okay. Several residents in the Brigadoon community banded together to clean up after a tornado rolled through the area. It was like a, a railroad train, but not quite that bad. Residents like Randy Hanna had to wait the storm out and hide in the basement to remain safe. Hanna says he heard roof shingles start slamming into his front door and windows when the wind started picking up. And I go, uh oh, and I told my wife, Nancy, I said, get in the basement. So I opened the door and started screaming at him and that's when the window started uh, imploding into our house and everybody could hear him and they flew down the stairs. Kay Dye also lives in Brigadoon with her family. Her granddaughter's car was crushed by a tree as well as the other side of her garage. The Red Cross dropped into Brigadoon to help but they started at Dye's house for a very particular reason. She would be out here working if it wasn't <laughs> that her house got hit. So yeah. we decided to come here first when we got out this morning and come check on her. Di is a Red Cross volunteer. She says she's helped with a lot of disaster relief, but she's never been on the other side of the help. And we help them with water and blankets in the winter and all kinds of things. And and it felt strange to be the recipient of that today, but I was nonetheless glad because it reinforces the good stuff we do. All the houses in the neighborhood do have power as they have an underground power system. Some of the houses, though, are still without water, such as Di's house. She has no water right now and is using cases of water to actually flush her toilets. Now, everyone is okay in this area. I was told that all the neighbors here are good and not injured, and residents say that is the most important part of the day. Reporting live in Limestone County, Aria Ponds, 48 on your side.